The whole project's pretty straightforward. I like sidecar rigs. I like stand-up comedy. And I like chislick. Chislick? That's meat on a stick. Fried, usually. Lamb, venison, beef. Uh, if you look it up on Wikipedia, it'll say, seldom heard of outside the state of South Dakota. That'd be an indicator. It's not a national food. It's a regional food. And it's tasty. It's meat on a stick. And I also like stand-up comedy. My friends, Dan Boobless Jr. and Timmy Williams, agreed to help me out with this. I'm going to go for a sidecar ride. You know Timmy Williams from the TV show The Whitest Kids You Know, as well as magazines and movies, uh, podcasts, and of course stand-up comedy. Dan Bublitz Jr. is a stand-up comedian who's from here on South Dakota originally, then moved to San Diego, and now lives in Sioux Falls. He's a traveling comedian, puts in a lot of hours, puts on a lot of shows. He also does a podcast called The Art of Bombing, where he talks with uh, other stand-up comedians about their worst performances, and he gives tips to other up-and-coming stand-up comics, like me. So both sidecar rigs are rigs that I put together for friends, Mike Etlicker and Jeff Kirka. Uh, they were polite enough to loan me the sidecar rigs for me to use for this project, and we wandered around Watertown, South Dakota, eating chislick and uh, talking about comedy with both Timmy and Dan. I hope everyone enjoys this. Let's go for a sidecar ride. I might want to be the devil on your shoulder. See if you can rub yourself. Oh, yeah. Ah, I'm a little stiff. I started exercising doing a, the Batman challenge, a 30-day Batman challenge, where you do crazy ab stuff just for a few minutes every day, but you multiply it every day. So by the end of the month, I'll be doing like lots of like planks and no squats. Yeah, I had to start doing something, you know. Well, I, I want to get rid of this gut, you know. Usually, you got to get back in shape. Back You're in not shape. that out of shape. Well, and You're where's this idea that I've ever been <laughs> in shape? Where did you get that idea? <laughs> you know, people are so uh, weird about their bodies. There's a. I was at the station this morning, and I've never been naked on stage. I have. <laughs> but um, this gal had a sign on her desk that says, Nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. And it's like, that just is a kind of a know, fucked up way to think about it. Pie. I know, right? It's like, you obviously haven't had enough uh, melted I, cheese. It's <laughs> 850 Suzuki, uh, two valve per cylinder engine, shaft drive, Makuni round slide carbs with a Spirit of America side carb. About 12 different companies made the same basic side carb with their own name on it. Not a lot of space, very inexpensive, and a good, uh, good solid machine. It's a good thing I've lost weight. I can, I can fit. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's half the fun getting in and out. A year ago, I might not have been able to fit. I have the helmet on. Yeah. Highway cars. Yeah. Uh, Darth Vader. Ooh. Or profane oh, stickers. Or profane stickers. All right. Are you hungry for some chislick? I'm hungry for food. All right. Well, All right. Some All right. So that should capture the look of terror on your face. The look of terror on my face. This is this I is the. my car you'll understand you'll see that I'm not crazy so take my hand she said I'm not impressed with your guitar might as well stop playing cuz I won't go that far I'm not impressed with your damn car might as well stop driving cuz I won't go that far
that far. season the dude that just says I need deer leather yeah they'll trade you for a pair of gloves really oh yeah you give them your skin oh that's cool <laughs> I love the Wikipedia page the Wikipedia page unheard of outside the state of South Dakota really that's right in the Wikipedia I love it just like me <laughs> South Dakota now in this year. Take this meat on this stick, dip it in your sauce, and you eat it. Mm. And it's amazing. Absolutely okay, so amazing. This is the fried. I have grilled. Oh, you got grilled. I got grilled. Tired, grilled. Either way you have it, it's amazing. Is this, uh, I went with grilled because I'm trying to be more healthy. Is that linguine? What are you dipping it in? Barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. It's a barbecue sauce. Mm. It's so good. Mm. And when you fry it, it doesn't take long to cook. A few minutes and you can fry it up. Some good too. Mm. Good stuff. This is what? Which one baked? This is fried. This is dead when you're 65. This is 52. <laughs> what is the best chislic you've ever had? This chislic right here today, right now. Dems. Oh, that's a shameless plug for Dems. This is pretty good. Actually, the best chislic that I've had was at the state fair a few weeks ago. They had lamb chislic on a stick. Okay, well, I've only had chislic one other time. Besides what's coming right now, which was uh, at the South Dakota State Fair like two weeks ago. So that was, I've been in South Dakota for how long? And that's the first time I've ever tried Chislik. With, and um, it, this one was made with... It's supposed to be either venison or beef, right? But this one was made with lamb? 
I don't know if it's really that much of a violation or not. But. What other weird foods have you seen doing shows across? Well, the there's good old uh, Rocky Mountain oysters. I've had those before, which are uh, goat balls. Um, or cow balls? Cow balls. Rocky Mountain oysters, right? Cow balls? Do you cow, know? Cows don't have balls. Ah, bull balls. Sorry. God, it got me on that Midwestern intricate language. Anyways, uh, not really intricate. I'm just being dumb. What else have I had that was weird? You know, so every country, every like place when you go, they always have like some weird fried food thing that's their deal. There was this place in Chicago that had uh, called Quenchers that had tater tot pizza, which is great, but I mean it'll kill you dead. Um, there's um, pizza in St. Louis that they make their own cheese called Provel. It's like a provolone, it's like a Velveeta version of provolone kind of, it's weird, but they put that on their pizza there. And then sometimes honey. What was your first ever stand-up performance? Can you remember it? That's me saying he's <laughs> old. It was an open mic, almost seven years ago, at uh, Fat Daddy's Comedy Club in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It was actually, uh... September 7th, 2010. How about you? Technically, my first stand-up performance was when I was five or six at the City Auditorium for Arts in the Park Talent Night. And the only joke I remember telling was, who lives next to horses? Neighbors. And I don't know if I wrote that. I don't think I did. I'm sure someone else told that. <laughs> I'm sure it's some old street joke, but that was the first. And then when I was, you know, not cute and older, I, uh, and we were on the road for Whitest Kids opening for a band, and we had all this free time, so that's when I started writing down what I would do if I did stand-up. So the first time I actually did stand-up, stand-up as an adult was 2006 in October at Rafifi in Manhattan, which was an awesome indie comedy club and film place. They actually used to have movie rentals there too, but um, anyways, that was where I first did And that place is in American Apparel now, so great. But yeah, that was the first one almost 10 years ago. No, almost 11 years ago. Have you ever rode a motorcycle? No, never. I've ridden, uh, when I was married, my wife had Vespas. We rode on those. That's as close as I got. But I never controlled it. I just rode along. Was that your first trip in a sidecar? Yes. This was my first sidecar ride. And a very entertaining ride it was. <laughs> I jinxed it. I broke the camera. <laughs> Mostly I edited out my own voice. Very little of me actually very speaking. Very little of me speaking. speaking. That's good. But the one That's thing the I did want to ask you do. about... <laughs> yeah. The nasally <laughs> like, That is the best thing you can do for this project, yeah. is edit yourself out. But the one thing I did want to ask you about was hostage comedy. <laughs> what, what is, what hostage? is hostage comedy? Hostage comedy. Well, that's what I call a comedy show that takes place at a bar with an unsuspecting crowd. That means the crowd just came to watch football, or they just came to their local neighborhood bar to have a drink, and then suddenly, there's going to be an open mic or a comedy show. And now, they're upset because there's comedy going on, and they don't want to listen to comedy, they want to watch their football game. So they're kind of annoyed by the fact that there's people on stage trying to get their attention. So, that is hostage comedy. That could be like any kind of a bar show or Usually it's typically it's an open mic, but it's when people know they're at a bar and all of a sudden there's a comedy show that they had no idea was going to happen. That's hostage comedy. You've taken them hostage for your comedy show and now they're angry. <laughs> How the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, this is it. <laughs> Forward my mail. Yeah, see, there's the key. Is there a trick? That's it. Okay, that Dan. Yeah. Oh, all right. Time to get out. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, 
look at that. Look at that. I'm like a pro. I'm like a sidecar pro. Step right out of that like I was pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, did it get destroyed? Well, it's gonna need a new screen. Oh no! <laughs>